don't use photos of defense personnel in campaign ads. EC to parties reiterating its instructions issued in 2013. The Election Commission, EC, has asked political parties not to use photographs of defense personnel in their poll advertisements for the upcoming Lok Sabha elections. EC said the move follows a complaint by the Ministry of Defense. Armed forces are a political and neutral stakeholders in a modern democracy. The commission stated, voting for Lok Sabha elections in Delhi to be held on May 12, the voting for Lok Sabha elections in Delhi, which has seven parliamentary seats, will be held on a single day on May 12. The election commission announced on Sunday. The BJP currently holds all the seven seats in Delhi, in Uttar Pradesh, Bihar and West Bengal. The elections will be held in seven phases beginning April 11. The BJD to reserve 33% seats for women in Lok Sabha poll Sadisha CM Naveen Patnaik on Sunday announced that Biju Janata Dal, BJD, will allocate 33% seats in the upcoming Lok Sabha polls for women. If India is to lead the world, then women empowerment is the only answer, Patnaik said. In November 2018, Patnaik had passed a proposal seeking implementation of 33% reservation for women in parliament and state assemblies. Maharashtra to vote in four phases in Lok Sabha Pulse The Election Commission of India has announced that Maharashtra will have the Lok Sabha elections in four phases. Voters of 7, 10, 14 and 17 constituencies will exercise their votes on April 11. First phase, April 18. Second phase, April 23. Third phase, and April 29. Fourth phase, respectively. Assembly elections will be held in Maharashtra later in the year. A year. Hardik Patel to join Congress in presence of Rahul Gandhi on March 12. Patidar leader Hardik Patel took to Twitter to announce he will be joining the Congress in presence of Rahul Gandhi and other senior leaders on March 12. If there's no legal hindrance and party decides to field me in electoral politics, I'd abide by the party's decision. I'm taking this step to serve 125 crore citizens of India, he tweeted.